गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑल द क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट टू माई डिजिटल क्लास रूम साइंस विद शेखर सर आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू द साइंस फॉर क्लास नाइन दैट साइंस विल बी कम्प्राइज ऑफ थ्री सब्जेक्ट नाउ केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स एंड बायो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टार्ट अप विद द फिजिक्स इन फिजिक्स वी आर हैविंग द फाइव चैप्टर्स वन इज फर्स्ट इज मोशन देन फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन देन ग्रेविटेशन वर्क एनर्जी एंड पार एंड साउंड so today we are going to start with the chapter that is motion right in class 8 you have already studied about the force that force which always force causes motion sometimes so what is motion motion means the movement but if scientifically i will i have to define that term motion it means that a body is said to be at in motion until it changes its surroundings suppose i am sitting here at 10 o'clock At ten five five past ten, I will be somewhere else. That means my surroundings will be changed. It means that the I am in motion. If I am sitting here at ten thirty, I will also be here. That means I am at rest. Rest is the just opposite term to the motion, in which there is no change in surroundings. But very interesting fact about these two terms is that motion and rest are relative terms. What does it mean? What does it signify? It signifies that. whether it's possible that a person is at rest as well as in motion of course you will say no how is it possible but it is possible if two different observers are there like you are sitting in a moving train and the person who is sitting in front of you if i will ask from him what about your position rest or motion he will say he that person is at rest but if the person who is standing outside and observing the moving train and both of you sitting in the moving train what he will say he will say that you are in motion so motion and rest are relative terms so before understanding the term motion we have to understand some important terms related to motion that is motion in 1 2 3 4 dimension that what do you understand by one dimension two dimension we know that there are three coordinates x y and z the condition the motion in which only position of the object or the motion of the object is specified by one of the coordinate that is one dimensional only one whether it's x y or z like moving train like moving train right and in two dimension we can say in which two coordinates are used like what you can see motion of planets that is two dimension and three dimension in which all these three x y z will specify the motion that is known as flying bird in which all the coordinates will be used right 